It's always difficult breaking bad news, especially when it's a really young patient in front of me who has a really young family. I specialize in breast and gynecological cancer, and, and unfortunately I do have a lot of young women in my practice, and it's just so heartbreaking when I see you know, a young family um, and then cancer ripping their life apart. That's what drives us though, is those experiences with our own patients trying to find the ways to help them through their journey. So really, I want to be able to improve the cure rate and the quality of life for patients that I treat every day. Like Nico has a long history of giving and its employees have a long history of giving. We got exposure to the Princess Margaret Cancer Center early on. Our founder, Paul Penna, was treated there. That was our initial exposure. We had the opportunity to go visit the center a number of years ago. We were blown away with the quality, with the excellence, a world-class facility doing world-class work and world-class care. We've got to support them. And that's what started our partnership with Princess Margaret to the point now where our support uh, both from the company and its employees, is in excess of $25 million. We launched two large Agnico Eagle Grand Challenges at Princess Margaret to try and accelerate our research. The first of those was to try and detect cancer early using technologies developed at Princess Margaret Cancer Centre to find cancer even in people who don't know they have it, have not developed any symptoms, it can't be seen on an x-ray, and you can do that all through a simple blood test developed by Dr. Bradman, Dr. Han and others. And so we chose that as one of our first initiatives at Princess Margaret this year to stimulate advances in cancer detection so we can cure more patients. The human papillomavirus causes many cancers here in North America, but it has an even bigger impact globally, especially in developing countries. People who have persistent HPV infection can develop cancers, and it can affect both men and women, all different age groups, and all different body parts. So it's definitely an issue, and it's increasing in Canada. Unfortunately, it's a wide range of cancer and sometimes it can be quite aggressive. So early detection is very important because by the time we see a one centimeter tumor on CT scan, that's about a billion cancer cells and that sometimes is a bit too late. So we want to be able to detect small amounts of cancer cells early before they grow into a one centimeter tumor so that we can intervene early with treatment. We can detect the genetic fingerprints of each cancer in the bloodstream with the blood tests that we're developing and that's providing unprecedented tools to develop precision treatments for individual patients. This is revolutionizing how cancer is being managed right now. Dr. Bratman, Dr. DiCavillo, Dr. Han have developed the world's leading technology to detect cancer in the bloodstream, which means the simple blood test, we can detect over 50 cancers, even in healthy people who might be walking around not even knowing they have a cancer. The financial support, especially from partners like Amico Ego, is very important. We can have lots of brilliant research ideas, but without the funding, we cannot execute any of the research ideas. We like the idea of the grand challenge. It's all about future care. What does the care look like in five years? What does the care look like in 10 years? And in order to get from here to there, you need support, you need funding, you need to fund the work that's done there every single day. That's how we're going to get to conquer cancer by funding the best research and funding it today, not waiting. They need the money now and we're in a position to do it and we're happy to be their partner.
Agnico Eagle has been one of the corporations which has really stepped up to help us in support of these grand challenges. We've been able to accelerate our progress. Certainly our preliminary results from the initial smaller cohort of patients suggest that this will be successful. And we are going to see just an explosion in the use of these tests over the next five to ten years. It will be a revolution in how patients are managed, how cancer is detected, and ultimately how treatments are targeted. It's not just the expertise for funding, but good, smart, honest, hardworking people in that battle for cancer, and how could we not support it?